Yo yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to a brand new league racing video. Today, round Daniel, 13 three months. of the WR League Racing Championship uh, today in Japan. Um, Japan usually not my best track on the F1 games, but I do enjoy it. And it's in the next M1 Esports event as well, so we we'll have to wait and see. Um, I think we're not very much up to pace uh, today just yet, because I haven't done a lot of Suzuka practice yet. Um, I've gone with a risky setup as well just to try because this is part of my practice as you guys might know So we might as well try something while we're at it and Take a bit of a risk, you know, uh, as you can see there the championship standings We're eight points behind Lucas Blakely and we're gonna try and take the championship lead of course over seven months. Today as we head out for our first Q1 run uh, Red Bull just started this lap. I think so right there and you got the three hardest compounds available around Suzuka, so it's always a little bit harder to warm up the tires compared to other tracks. Um, but you need those because of the fast S sections. You basically almost only got fast corners here, apart from one hairpin and one slow chicane. It's all medium to high speed, um, if anything more high speed. You got a Deckners, of course, uh, and an S section in the beginning, so your tires are going to be boiling uh, in the race, and that's what you need to try and avoid. So, that Alfa Romeo on our lap, I think that's Cardo Lundi in the Alfa Romeo. Um, he's trying to get as much laps as possible in, of course. Uh, the last two tracks are going to be Brazil and Abu Dhabi, so those are F1 Esports tracks as well. And for the normal league race, it makes it a little bit harder, because especially in the next two, the F1 Esports drivers are going to be sweating it uh, by then. Uh, this is, I think, a little bit still in break time uh, of the most F1 Esports drivers, as the F1 Esports Championship is quite compact. You got like three races per event, of course, and usually you got around three um, weeks in between events. And now we've got six weeks, so I think most drivers are taking a bit of a break, reset, and then with around four or three weeks to go, um, everyone is going to be grinding um, those tracks out. So I think for Brazil and Abu Dhabi, it's mainly going to be F1 Esports drivers dominated. Snazzy evening goes provisional pole position here in Q1. With a 128.6, we're going to start our lap now, here in Q1. And I'm going to try, as per usual, go through on one set of tires, but it's always easier said than done. You can see, I got a lot of understeer on entry and a big snap of oversteer on the exit. So, definitely lost quite a bit of time there, as we had through the S section now. And it's all about keeping the minimum speed up. Keeping the speed up without sacrificing the corner afterwards. And that exit is always so tricky on the F1 game. Uh, I think it's easy flat out in a real F1 car, but on the F1 game it's always so tricky. Now, through this section, easy to bottom out on that exit. Um, and now into the hairpin, easy to lock up the left front third gear to get the car to slow down. And then the traction zone is not easy. Every little bit of wheel spin might cost you crucial lap time. Into the double left hand and now then. Trying to keep the minimum speed up without sacrificing the exit coming up right here. And you can see the car is so snappy. No traction whatsoever as we head into the final sector. It's going to be a 112.294 uh, uh, middle split as we head into the final chicane. And the Red Bull is going slowly there. Going to try and take as much curb as possible, but front's not really biting over that curb stone and we don't really have the traction that we want on the exit and they are stood and that's not good enough so we have to go again and you can see there we have p13 with still a lot of people to cross the line so this lap counts a lot you can see the rear locked a little bit and that cost me some entry speed and most importantly exit speed and there was not a good lap as well it's only p13 with still a lot of people yeah, having nice. to finish a lap and that means we're out in q1 uh, the risk we took with the setup didn't pay off. It was worth it um, to try, but um, yeah, I was also messing around a little bit with the FPS um, the glitch, as you guys might know. 60 FPS is still faster for some reason um, because the graphics are connected to the physics, which is really yes. annoying. But um, yeah, I basically swapped between 400 FPS to 60 in between runs um, to see what would be better. Um, but now onto the race then, starting P17 on a set of hard tires. We've got Matthijs uh, van Erwen uh, right of us on the medium, so he's definitely going to get a better start here off the line. 
than us, but we get a better start than the people ahead of us. Alessio De Capua in P15 ahead of us on the hearts as well. Basically everyone on the hearts, apart from Matthijs van Aerwes. Daniel Haddad spins off. I tried to avoid him. Ah, to avoid McLaren. And um, yeah, that cost us some time, but... Better than being out of the race. As you can even say, they're better than being out of the race. We basically gave up two, three positions. Um, but we saved our front wing. Because if we would have damaged our front wing here, that would have been um, game over basically already. And yeah, I think this was definitely a better option as Matthijs van Erwin goes into spin. So we've gained that position again. Uh, luckily, ghosted. Um, we saw that as well, of course, because otherwise we would have taken uh, that definitely more cautiously. But um, yeah, up to P18 now after dropping those places at the start. So we've only lost one position, basically. And it's a shame we had to avoid Daniel Adat, otherwise we might have been in P15 here. But always um, easy said and done. I think Daniela even ghosted, but he just can't take the risk. Um, it's better to lose two, three positions than being completely out of the race. So P18 it is. And Liam Parnell, at the third Avon Esports driver for Red Bull Racing, ahead of us. And then it's Simon Prickney in P16 in that Austin. Um, and we are going to try and close uh, that gap. I think you can see there's quite a big gap ahead of Simon. Uh, I think that's actually Carter Lundi, uh, who has dropped a bit of a gap to that Ferrari of Alessio Di Capua. Um, and Liam Parnell with a big snap of overs, they're struggling for traction as well. We tried to take advantage of it, but you can see he was smart with the arrest. Turned on the overtake Slow button um, to cover that off. And you can see lap 7 now, and Simon Prickney has dropped out of the arrest. And I think he might have had damage uh, from something in those past few laps. I'm not sure, but he was dropping so much. And you can see here, we're going for it only in Parnell, because I don't want to drop out of the DRS train ahead, because then it's going to be a very long race. We get squeezed a little bit on the entry, so we have to back out of that one. And now, for sure, Liam Parnell is going to go for it on Simon Prickney. And gain that position. You can see, I once again turned on the overtake button. Because I wanted to pressurize Liam into making this move. And getting ahead. Because otherwise, we're both screwed for the rest of the race. Um, if we have to make up 2-3 seconds to the card hat. The group again. As you can hear me uh, say, we're never going to catch the group again. Um, I was worried that... We were not going to have the pace to catch that group. As you can see, it's basically from P15 to P1. It's a wall DRS train. And then th there's that gap uh, ahead of Liam. We're surely going to try and close that gap now. So and we're going to sit behind one lap. Um, one lap behind Simon. And then um, we're going to go for the move. But um, as you can see here on this exit, he decided he to let damage. us go. I think he might have had damage and just decided to give up that position as it was not worth the fight um, kind of a little bit of an unwritten rule if you get front wing damage in league racing you're not gonna go go, go too crazy um, so if you had front wing damage then that was probably the reason he let us go now Liam 7 8 tens ahead of us you can see there then Carter Looney is 1.9 seconds ahead of us so Liam is on the brink of getting into that one second window and that's why we are using our overtake button as well because Liam will be doing the same trying to get in the DRS ad because he he gave up on that one as his rear light is flashing and means he just doesn't have the battery anymore to close that gap so we're gonna sit behind for one more lap and then we're gonna swap around with Liam and try to get into that DRS train ourselves so uh, we set our you personal best the of the race with a 132.097 and um, yeah we need to once we get past Liam, close another three, four tenths to get back in that DRS window. You can see now, uh, the gap ahead of Liam is now around 1.5 seconds. So we're going to have to gain a little bit more than those three, four tenths. Um, by the time we get past, we're going to have to gain five, six tenths. So we're going to turn on the overtake button here and go for a good old send to try and somewhat recover this race. Because it's been an absolutely terrible qualifying end race so far. So if you want to get points... We need to get on with it, which we're doing now. 26% battery remaining. Um, we have to gain 5.1 tenths to get DRS. So, hard push coming up. You can see Iker Bena with a 3 second penalty. Simon Prickney has gone on to soft, so I suspect he did have damage. Because um, otherwise, there's no way he would box that early. So, uh, Iker Bena with a 3 second penalty, probably for track limits. Um, and now. I think we might be a little bit lower on downforce than Carter, because we lost like 
uh, a good two tenths um, in the death section. Um, as you can hear me say, unrival. I was really struggling with the back end. I had no traction. Rotation wasn't great as well. So that's basically the worst you can have. Um, I felt like that horrible entry under stair and horrible exit over stair, which is just a little bit how this game is. Um, which I think is also why the skill gap is so low, you know. Um, usually, if the car just doesn't turn, that just closes the skill gap a lot. Um, Cause yeah, you're just limited by the car. Whereas when you've got oversteer, you know, you're limited by how good can you drive this car. So I think that's been a bit of an issue in this game compared to others, and that's why qualifying are so close as well. Now, as you can see there, we were 1.01 behind Carter on the detection, and that's very unfortunate no, we're gonna because now we don't have DRS. Uh, we just had a personal best. I can see a few laps later. The gap is now 9.4 tenths. We've managed to break the DRS to Liam Parnell. He's 1.2 seconds behind, as you can see in the top left. Um, and we're using our battery once again. It's completely empty now, but at least we are going to get DRS. Well, at least we get DRS again. We're going to try and recharge the battery a little bit um, for when the pit stop phase arrives. Um, and we need a bit more pace. You can see there, someone is boxing, and I suspect... That is someone uh, that started on the mediums. Uh, I think it might be Daniel Adat. I'm not sure actually. I think it's Alvaro Carton in the box as well. Uh, might be Alvaro boxing from hard to mediums, and Daniel Adat boxed the lap ahead of him from uh, mediums to hard. So um, no, it's Shanika Clay. Sorry, sorry, I got confused. Uh, it's of course Shanika Clay, Daniel Adat, and Alvaro Carton in Williams Esports, um, and of course Daniel well, spun out at the start of the race. So. Can I say everyone's boxing very early? Um, apart from Jack West and Alicia Cap, are still out on track ahead of us. Jack West was 3.1 seconds ahead of us, and we're gonna try and close that gap um, in the next few laps as um, tire wear starts to kick in. Usually, we're a little bit better when tire wear starts to kick in compared to others. Um, no idea why, but that's just how it is. Um, but yeah, I think currently it's a Williams 1 2. Uh, with Shanika Clay on the hearts and Alvaro Caraton on the mediums. But Thomas Ronar is still in P1. Um, as you can see earlier, in, earlier on in the video, he is our championship rival as well. He's currently P3, not too far behind us. So if he wins this and we don't score any points, he is going to be leading the championship. Um, but can't think about it right now. Just have to focus on this race and mainly on F1 Esports. So um, Jack West. Uh, a few laps later, 1.5 heads, so we have managed to close the gap to 1.4 seconds. And we're going to box at the end of this lap for uh, 10 laps on a set of mediums. As into the pits we go, we need to make sure not to speed, of course. As I lock up the right front a little bit, tires were absolutely done. Um, after 17 laps around Suzuka, you can see a big line on the middle of the tire, and it's usually means on the F1 game, it's your tires prime. are screwed. The prime. So now, of course a lot of people got the undercut on us, but we're gonna have the fresh tires. I stayed out just in case of a late safety car, you know, um, because then it's a big W uh, if you get a free pit stop. But we come out around four or five tenths behind Ikerbena, but the tire warm up around here, as I said early on in the video, is very painful because you've got the hardest compounds. Um, luckily, you've got some fast corners right here to heat them up quickly. Um, you can see we've already lost a second to Ikerbena. And it's only going to get more because it takes a good 2-3 sectors for your tires to warm up. So uh, there's no way we're going to get DRS uh, at the end of this lap. Um, of course, over time we will gain time back because of the tire advantage. So, um, yeah, just need to be patient. Now, Jack West. I reckon it's gonna box at the end of this lap as well. Um, because 18 laps, 19 laps is probably the maximum you can do on a set of hearts. And the mediums tend to fall apart pretty fast as well. So let's hope we are on the faster overall strategy here around Suzuka. Um, so we can, you know, try to um, gain some time back to the top 10. Currently we are in a net P15. So we need to gain five positions. Uh, before we get to the points. But that's not, not nice impossible, of course. <laughs> uh, you can even say nice tire warm-up. We lost 1.3 seconds to Ikerbena on this warm-up. 
uh, which is not ideal. Manuel Biancolila behind us, um, trying to get the DRS from us, of course, so he's gonna turn on the overtake button here. I'm not really too worried, of course, because we've got fresh tires and I'm just trying to focus on my own race from here. I think Manuel's just trying to get the DRS advantage at some point next lap. You can see Jack West there comes out 1.2 seconds ahead of us, but now he has got the exact same as, she was, as us. Um, warming up these tires and he should lose 1.2 1.3 seconds as well now I expect him to use a lot of battery um, to try and keep the track position ahead of us because he's got the fresh tires of course he doesn't want to drop behind us so it, we're gonna, just gonna play that with him you know there's no point in battling um, when we're on the exact same strategy we just need to try and get forward together so um, you can see there he's using his battery um, to try and get DRS straight away from Ikrabena. I don't think he's gonna make it um, Because he's still 1.2 1.3 behind his tires are still not at the temperature So unless he completely drains his battery on the next rate, he's not gonna make it um, But you can see there Ikrabena actually uh, um, Is not using so that's that's helping Jack West and he is gonna get DRS now uh, We are turning on the overtake button um, Because we need to make sure we actually stay within that one second uh, because we knew Jack was probably going to use again quite a lot of battery on this next straight. So we had to use a little bit there, but that's fine. Now we're just going to sit back on the on this next straight and, uh, and keep charging our battery. So um, traction is much better on the set of mediums out of that final she came. I was really struggling with that in the opening stint. Liam Parnell boxes for softs. Softs are not great around here. They are mainly just a qualifying tire. So uh, Liam is more or less out of this race. Staying out an extra two laps on a very old set of hearts, losing you an extra 3-4 seconds just to go on to a set of softs that is going to be terrible um, yeah it's not really going to get you anywhere I think so in these latter stages but as I said Liam might have been hoping for uh, a late safety car as Ikerbena uh, goes off and that's a free position for us and now Jack West, I expect him to push again to try and get DRS from Carter Lundi at the end of this lap so we're gonna have to use a bit of battery as well um, throughout this lap to make sure we get DRS. Uh, you can see the gap is 8.5 tenths and we are using our battery. So is Jack trying to do the exact same thing as us, trying to catch uh, Cardelloni. Because see, Jack is flashing right there, uh, which means he's under 10% battery. So that uh, gives me a little bit of hope for later on in this race. Carter in P12, of course, not in the points. But the group ahead of him is for P7, I think so. So, see if we can get some points right there. Um, had to use a little bit more battery there to make sure we got our state in that DRS. Um, now, Jack is definitely not going to go for a move on this lap because he's 9 tenths behind. But maybe on the next lap, with a tire advantage, he can do something. Uh, Jack West gets the fast lap the race at 130.633. We do a 130.753. In this league, you don't get a point for the fastest lap. So... There was no point um, for me to try and use a little bit more ERS just to try and get fast lap. Also, Liam is on a set of soft, so um, I expect him to get the fast lap on this lap anyway. Um, with the help of ERS and a brand new set of softs. Lap 21 now. Um, you can see we've recharged our battery a little bit. 38% now. As um, Jack is pushing pretty hard, trying to get past Carter on this lap. And you can see... Carter is not letting him go that easy. A defending right there. Jack goes around the outside, goes for the switch back, and gets the move done. P12. I really got distracted by that fight. I was gonna say I got distracted a little bit by that fight, but um, yeah, onto lap 24. Now you can see we stayed behind Carter a little bit to recharge the battery and get an easier pass with the help of DRS. Now Jack is 1.9 seconds out of Carter. So, if we want to get back in the DRS of Jack, we have to go for it now. We've turned on the overtake button, DRS is open, Carter is flashing. We still got 40% ERS. We leave space on the inside. Why? I gave you so much space, man. <sighs> Fuck this, dude. I gave the bloke so much space. Man, you still run me off track. And that was our league race of today. Unfortunately, we got taken out. Um, it is what it is. Uh, we were trying to still salvage one point, but Carter just run wide a little bit on uh, on entry and um, It happens. It is what it is. Uh, we're not fighting for big points anyway So um, we're gonna try and do better next league race around Brazil um, 
I'm not sure if it's actually already this Sunday, but um, we will see. I'm going to try and still manage to get this championship. We lost a lot of points to Thomas, of course. We won the race, and he's now leading the championship. So it's not looking good, but we're going to try and uh, win the next two races. So I hope you guys enjoyed nonetheless, and see you guys next time. Ciao.